hello guys welcome back to my channel how you doing i hope you are doing great so this is full chicken so the recipe is purple cabbage vegetable soup with salmon if you are new to my channel you are highly welcome please like subscribe and share with friends and family and for my old subscriber thank you for your support i really appreciate you all Cut chicken to the size you like. You can use meat or fish on this cabbage soup recipe. So this chicken is already washed. I add vinegar to the water and wash like three to four times. Like I said, you can use any protein of your choice. You can use meat or fish, anyone. So I decided to use chicken on this particular one. Please help me to share the video so that I can get to more people. My video I need to more views. This is after cooking. So time to cook. Seasoning cube. You don't need much spice on this particular food. Red onions. Time. Curry. You can use any spice of your choice, salt, so add fresh brown, I use the small spice, you can use the big one if you want. Add little water because we are going to make use of this stock later. Cook for 20 minutes. Depending on the chicken you are using, you know some chicken are hard and some are soft. So this is after 20 minutes. I will remove them and keep them aside for later use. I will also keep the stock aside. So time to make our sauce and the vegetable palm oil. You can also use olive oil or vegetable oil if you don't have palm oil. Salt. Add a chop onions. Stir fry for a few minutes. Add your pieces of tomatoes. This is canned tomatoes, but it's not smooth, it's roughly the size of this chop. So, add blend tomatoes. This is also a bottle tomatoes, but it's, it's very smooth and well blended.
dry pepper, you can use fresh pepper. Stir fry until it's literally dried up, until the sour taste is gone a little bit, not too tiny. Cover so that it will not splash all over your kitchen because it splashed a lot. As you make it. So add your stock. This is the stock from the chicken. This chop the, the purple chop cabbage. I use one medium size. To add your cooked chicken. Allow it to cook for a few minutes. Don't overcook your veggies so that you see how that crunchy taste when you're eating it. So this is my steamed spinach. This spinach is to reduce excess water you put hot water on the fire add your spinach once it boils up remove it from that hot water and rinse the cold water this is how i got this steamed spinach so when you are using it to cook it you will not have that excess water that is the essence of doing that cook for a few minutes Add little water is optional. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Like, comment, and share with your friends. Please help me share the video. That is the only way you can help me to promote my video. Cook for a few minutes. don't need to overcook the veggies so it's already ready it's ready so time to make our salad you can use any swallow of your choice you can use your pango you can use anything Dissolve with what I do. This is old method, but it is still very active because it makes it easy and fast for you when you are turning it. So I'm doing this to remove any excess lumps inside. But if you don't have time, you can make it directly on hot water. So this after I dissolved it, allow the water to boil, just little water before you add the mixed salmon and continue to stir, don't leave on stir, if not it will burn under the pot. Continue to stir until it's cooked. You can make it hard or soft. I make this particular one soft. So it's for me already. So I'm still cooking it. It's not done. So I'm still cooking it. So this is the final bit. You see how soft it is. Once it cool down, it will be harder a little again. 
So I'm putting it on a nylon so that to give it that round shape. So this is the article, the final look. Thank you for watching. Please watch more of my video and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you on my next video. Bye for now. Thank you.